Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Matthew and today we're doing uh, another figure review, but I must make this disclaimer that this is not a part of the Godzilla advent calendar whatsoever. The advent calendar is continuing how it is. It's um, any figure that I got before the beginning of this month is all um, eligible. The Kongs here and the new Godzilla Funko Pop I have are not eligible because those are things I got during the advent calendar. So maybe if I do a 2022 advent calendar, um, I guess that'll happen. Um, they'll be eligible then, but not now. But uh, to what I'm here for, um, my name is Matt, and today we're reviewing the Kong Jungle, Concrete Jungle uh, figure, which um, we're gonna kind of go over things I like, don't like. Uh, the sculpt and paint is amazing. Uh, mine seems to have a bit of a defect with the molding a bit. Like you can kind of see a crack line and, uh, yeah, that piece of plastic. But that doesn't get in the way of the articulation whatsoever. Um, the flesh marks look like they actually were real at one point. Almost like this thing was actually made and painted with blood. What are you guys doing over there, NECA? Anyways, <laughs> um, not throwing any um, allegations at NECA. No, no, no. Um, let's see. Kong here is also very compact with the fur detail, a lot of nice dry brushing and painting all throughout the body, the gray highlights. Everything just looks fantastic. Um, we're just going to jump right into articulation. Um, the head is on a ball joint. Uh, the, hold on, the jaw is hinged. The all right, the arms can move that far up, that far down, can rotate at the bicep, uh, can rotate at the top of the elbow, and can bend at a 90 degree bend with the elbow, or actually no, past 90 degrees, um, can rotate slightly there, rotate and bend at the wrist with a swivel hinge, swivel ball joint in that, maybe, uh, ball jointed ab crunch, ball joint, not ball joint, um, ratchet joint bum, I guess legs as well. Uh, the black, the bum is made of uh, rubber or flexible plastic, so it doesn't get away the uh, get in the way of the leg movement, which is nice. Uh, knee hinges, double knee hinges, and a foot swivel, which is actually at an angle, not a um, standard side to side movement. For accessories. Yes, there are accessories. That's why it's called the concrete jungle version. We have quite a bit. We have an alternate head for Kong, which is kind of more ticked off. We have uh, several hands. Let's get the splayed hands out. You heard me right. Splayed hands. Uh, grabby hands. A pair of chain shackles. These things are really cool. And the most unique addition to this figure, a biplane. So I guess if you want like a little diorama with the plane, go right ahead. Uh, the propeller even spins a little bit. So um, I'm just also another disclaimer. I'm not um, putting them on the figure right now. I'm going to do that in a different video like I did for the Mezco. But um. Overall, this thing is pretty dang sweet. I really like this guy. He's... Um, would I recommend him? Absolutely. If you can find him for a good price, go right ahead. And, um, yeah, there's not much, uh, much else to say. I'm going to compare him to the Mezco one day or another. I just have to wait until the right time. Um, that being said, uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye, everyone.